Alright. Hello everyone, my name is Ken, none of that's Tash, and we will not nominate games for awards if they aren't even fucking out yet. Um, if you go into any game on Steam, just so you guys know, if you go into any game on Steam now, you can nominate them for the end of year award thing that Steam does, including games that aren't out yet. <laughs> so, yeah. Games that are also, demos. it is the 21st! We are in the final fucking week of this godforsaken season. We've got enough hardwood to do Fucking that. Fucking finally. Um, also, well, I've still got I've got that stupid glitch where it thinks it's night time for me. <laughs> Great. For Tash, ugh, one day, one day we will play a series together where I get to put your point of view in as well. Tash needs to take his meds. No, that that's was the a, Tash that's meds alarm. I don't take any meds. I probably should. At least probably meds should. that'll knock me out. Well, I did that yesterday, and they knocked me out so hard that I slept for fucking ever. The thing is that I cannot stand medicated sleep. Mm, like, neither can I, but at some point it's very necessary, because otherwise I just don't fucking sleep. <laughs> Good point. I don't sleep so, anyway, so... I'd, I'd rather have real shit medicated sleep than have no sleep at all. Well, the last time I had medicated sleep, I didn't dream. A new chick is hatched. Cool thing it is, I odd. never dream, what so is, that's fine. What is our new chick? What is our new chick? What the fuck is that name? Womodo. Womodo? I kind of <laughs> like that. Womono. Womono. Snooma, Batbell, Kakina, I've kind of been oh. feeling a little guilty, and I felt like we need to give one of the animals we get a uh, commander O. Uh, all right. I feel like that's a thing we need Chicolin. to do because because I he he like super supports us and he's made gifts and stuff. I believe Winks recently commissioned him for stuff. It's going to be Commander O with one with only one M because it is not letting me. Oh, is it going to be too long? I don't know, Commander. Like without the O, it yeah, it's gonna be have to be with one O because it just Aww. refuses to work. Commander O. Pretty sure he won't. Uh, the Void Chicken. Oh void. my god, that is the most adorable fucking thing in the goddamn. Come here immediately, you need to see this. Immediately, he Look says. At Look at him, he's so adorable. Look at him, he's, he's so just, squish. I, no, look at him, he's just adorable. He's yeah. tiny. I'm on my way to look at him because he's Commander adorable. Commander O tiny. seems curious, but a little cautious. It's a strange new world. Be a crystal fruit. Look, look Crap. Dude, he's so adorable. He's just this tiny little black chicken with beady orange eyes. I love him. He I love sounds him. fairly fucking evil. Well, he's a void chicken. As long as he doesn't no, fucking uh, turn on us. Void chicken. Was Darth Vader voice. his father? Oh, he is kind of <laughs> cute. He's grey. He's adorable, isn't he? He's very grey. Yeah, he's like dark charcoal kind of stuff. Yeah, okay, it looks like Chloe's it. grown up. There's a big bun now. Yep, Chloe grew up yesterday. She is now officially a large bun. Large Utterly bun. Really adorable. She's a big bun. Well, to be fair, when when I got Kira, she was really small, being a little pinch across. And she's not gotten much bigger. But she's gotten a lot fucking taller. Like she's got very very <laughs> long legs. Which is weird. Oh yeah, you got one of the dogs that just have long legs, like legs for days. Yes. I found um, this adorable little cat, and I swear to god, somebody literally just stretched this cat's legs out on a rack or something, because the legs were like twice as long as they should be. Was that cat part of the Spanish Inquisition? No, uh, the cat was... it looked to be just a domestic short hair. It's a very standard cat, but for some strange reason, it just had legs for days. It's oh yes, I forget there are it's different so types of cats. Though. Fuck. Yeah, there are different kinds of cats. I was asked. I asked the guy, "Oh, what kind of cats do you have?" Because he was buying like a shit ton of food, and he's like, "Um, I got a ginger one, I got a grey one." <laughs> and I was like, "Those aren't breeds of cats, mate." Cool. The only breed of cats I know is Maine Coon. That's it. The only breed of cat. Oh, and is Tuxedo. Cat, tuxedo cats. I know a whole bunch like. 
Siamese, domestic tort hair, tortoise shell. There's like a bunch of adorable. My mom absolutely loved uh, Russian blues and ragdolls because they're just super, super adorable and fluffy. Those don't sound like fucking cats, though. They sound like collectibles. <laughs> hey, sweet, I got more iridium ore. Oh, fucking finally. Good. By the way, are you finding coal? No. There's only a little bit of coal. Rat. Shit. Um, okay, maybe I need to go back up to the 60s where those little coal sprites hang up. Maybe. Um, yeah. If you could, it'd be useful because we have a lot of ores to smell and no coal. <laughs> We've now I'm got too... the opposite problem that we'd had a few episodes ago. Well, that's true. I'm trying to collect a lot of void essence because that actually sells fairly decently. It sells, well, oh, that'd be I say decently, it sells be... for 50 gold. That'd be where most of our money's coming from then. Uh, that most... would be foraging for shit. True. Um, I don't know, I don't actually check what makes a lot of money, I just want totals. And then to move on. We've now got 47,000 gold. We needed 25,000 in order to upgrade the barn. So we'll... All we need now is the wood for the barn, and we'll be set. For that, Sad we'll be able to get there. both pigs. We'll be able to both get pigs and sheep, and the pigs will give us truffles. So we'll be able to um, finally knock out a couple more quests. Well, as well as get truffle yes. oil if we so desire. I prefer bacon, though. God damn it! Don't make me hungry again. No, I'm not hungry this time. I ate before. I'm clever. I was so pissed Sometimes. off, by the way, a couple of days ago. My milk ran out one day, and I just bought a big box of Cheerios. Oh, was... fuck's sake. What do you mean? Oh, dear. I accidentally gave her bait. Oh, shit. <laughs> she hates me now. Well, Whoops. to be fair, it doesn't really... It sounds like a, it sounds like a her problem. It sounds like a shit gift. There we go. Hey, have some... Whatever the fuck this is. 500... 500, nice. So he oh good, the money spread. went up for he a change. He needs melon, he needs his shorts, he needs level 40 in the mines, and he needs me to greet everyone, but I don't give a damn. Are you friends with What's-Her-Face yet? No. So then again, don't have to stop Marnie. Her anymore unless, you, unless, you want to, unless you want me to start giving her freaking diamonds, man. I don't actually give a shit what you give her, just get the mayor's fucking pants. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's kind of that bad, really. If the mayor could just fucking keep it in his pants. <laughs> if the mayor could keep it in his pants, we wouldn't be having this problem. True, but there will not. There, there wouldn't have been new additions to the town. The mayor doesn't have any kids. As far as you know. By the way, do you have bug meat? No, I need to go up high in the mine for that. At the moment, I'm genociding coal sprites again. <laughs> so you need to move this up here so I can keep oh, yeah. an eye on it. Uh, I really don't want to have to go in the mine myself. Um, frozen geodes are plenty. Frozen tears, I need like 10. Eggs, ancient dolls. Yeah, a lot how, of are we, shit. how are we for iron? Um, we're, we're up there, we've got 44 iron. Okay, so I can keep stop worrying about bars. collecting bunches of iron. We now have 25 iridium ore, by the way. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, that, we that got a lot of it. That gained quickly, holy hell. Um, yeah, I shall go and collect work. bug meat before returning home. Sweet, thank you. Alright. It's hitting rocks. I'm trying to find more frozen geodes. And yeah, coal sprites. Coal sprites time, would be so. good. It's kind of annoying that the geodes are so not plentiful. And I really do wish I'd remembered about the quality crops bundle while we were uh, actually on the days. No, that you can't win more. To get a At least that gives more. us something to do in the next year. Yeah, Instead of just push through still. for story. No, uh, the quality crops bundle gives us a greenhouse, which I can then put a whole bunch of... Um, what the hell are they called? Uh, fruit high trees. grossing things. No, uh -huh. not high grossing things. I'm purely doing them to get a bundle. Okay, level 17. All I'm thinking of is, okay, what do we need for bundles? What do we need for this? What do we need for that? Okay, uh, do cost price even appear on melon, this level? This is my question. Kale. You bet. 
bunch of stuff for the spring, a few things for summer. When we get to spring, I'm going to spend a bit of our money on getting some stuff and then getting the trees that we need. That Which sounds I'm fairly fun. sure I wrote down somewhere that those specific trees that we need. Yeah, I'm going to leave the mine and come back to like level 60, 50 ish. I don't know. Um, just because I need many more coal sprites and I they're not rearing apple, themselves. Yeah, we, I think we only need apple and pomegranate, so it shouldn't take that much to do. <clears throat> Maybe only about 10 grand or so. Mm, it should be so fine. We should, we should yeah. also plant all of the fucking trees we possibly can in the beginning of the year, so when the season hits, they actually give fruit. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, man. Because <laughs> god damn it. That was our downfall last time, the fact that we just didn't make money fast enough. What I am going to do is I'm going to buy a shit ton of um, turnips come the new year. And for the first four days of the season, all of this is just going to be turnips in my quest to get five golden ones. Turnips. Because all, all I need is five golden turnips and I can knock out that quest and I never have to see a fucking turnip again. These coal sprites don't drop a lot of coal. You know, I've never actually eaten turnip. At all in my Neither life. I that I can remember. I know they sell them at the grocery store. They're quite somewhat expensive. I kind of want to get some and see what it tastes like. I probably need a recipe for it. Probably not going to be very oh, by the way, delectable. I, but... I don't know if I. I don't know if I. Well, if you do the right stuff, it'll be. It'll be at least taste nice. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in the Stardew series. Um, there's a running joke for a little bit there between Walder, Ken, and I of me eating kangaroo. I have finally bought and eaten kangaroo, and it it tastes quite nice. It is the taste of beef with the consistency of lamb. That's is, fucking uh, the weird. Way I can think of to describe it is it is quite strange. But it's like having ostrich. Enjoyable kind of strange. Well, as long as it tastes good. Maybe if I swing by Australia one day, I can come sample. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Like. I'd be happy to cook it again, like it's genuinely tasty. Um, I'll bring along crocodile and ostrich if I can get it into the fucking country. Uh, you should be able to. Your country's food laws aren't that crazy. If nothing else, what I really want to try is I really want to try snake, because apparently snake is actually quite tasty. Nope, not interested, thanks. You don't want to harm the adorable snacks? No, just want them to die in a different way. Come on, snakes aren't that bad. Snakes, he unless you put a tiny Australia. top hat on it. He, he says living in Australia with a shit ton of poisonous snakes, and he knows they really are that bad. <laughs> They're not that bad. Not that bad. You haven't even seen the bad ones. <laughs> no, I've, we've had brown snakes in um, various other kinds of more poisonous toxic ones in our backyard on occasion and we've okay. had to call somebody to come and get rid of them poisonous or venomous though i think they're venomous i can i can never remember which one is i think it's venomous poisonous is the one that you die if you eat the venomous ones are that you die if they yeah, eat venomous you then. i do know that there's a handful of venomous snakes in australia that kind of just like if they bite you you might as well just be resigned to death because they will kill you so fast that you're never going to be able to get to help. The same I, as, I uh, know. what they call it? The box call jellyfish. Oh, They're, yes. They infest the northern shores area. It's uh, like uh, Queensland, Northern Territory, and all that. If one of those stings you, uh, you've got about three minutes, so you might as well just pray. Try and absolve yourself of your sins. Yes, to Lord Sebastian and Lady, what's her name, the small one? Mo. Yes. They're not gods. They're seen as gods by some members I'm of I'm pretty sure if he goes to his boss and he says, Listen, this dude just got stung by a box jellyfish. He's suffered enough. Can we just fucking send him somewhere? <laughs> well, his boss is Satan. Oh no, so... fuck me. I'm Come at the it. bottom of the mine. <laughs> well, it could be. <laughs> is that a threat uh, or a promise? Who, by the way, for, for those of you who have absolutely no idea what we're talking about with the Sebastian Moe thing, um... It's Tasha's book. It's a book I'm writing. It's, yeah, it's a book I'm writing. I don't know if it'll be out before the end of the year. I was trying to do it, but it just a lot of things didn't work out. Um, I got to see images drawn of it, which made me real happy. 
Yes, our so darling friend Ma us. is now on Twitter. Yes, and, she's, uh, she's being all social and shit. She's good. Less... Oh yeah, she's been posting some of her artwork in various places, and I am so excited. I too am jazzed. God damn it! Like her, her artwork is like her. Like, to put it in perspective, her artwork is what inspired me to start writing this particular book series in the first place. Oh. So like, this is a pretty big deal for. Dash gets bit. Start... I will. I'm just cooking up the iridium ore so that it's there when we're awake. So when I, we I really, awaken, really want to, I really, really wanted her to do the cover up, but she, she did say no. So I'm, I'm not gonna push that. I'll push that. <laughs> Don't push it. Like I haven't even finished the book yet. Doesn't matter. Oh yes, I want to sleep for the night. My floor went weird again. I've got to finish the book. I've got a lot of editing, and I've got to rewrite about four different se sections almost in their entirety. Oh, that sounds like a fucking nightmare. It's, it's, um, what yeah, has been making be the most money out of everything is the animal stuff. Yeah, because we make them into uh, mayonnaise and so forth now. Yes, because so we've got the machinery. We have the machinery. All right, one of the things we're going to have to start getting is more animals. And Why? also a way to get fodder. Why? A lot of fodder. Well, just wait for spring so we can plant lawn and then yeah. make I'm that gonna, happen. Like, actually, come to think of it, I think it's... You can let them out in spring, so I'm just going to start letting them out. I'm going to plant a bunch of grass starters down. i probably buy about 50 or so of them and uh, plant them in certain areas and then just grow it out, like, massively. Yes, sounds good. Because I kind of what I really want to have is uh, like every location that we are not going to put crops on <coughs> or trees on to be covered in grass, just to give it a bit more of a farm feel. Fuck is a whatever that thing is. Okay, we made a decent amount of money. We made about what five thousand five thousand one hundred twenty-seven gold. Nice. We're now over fifty grand. We're doing yes. well. We're doing we well. We are somehow fucking stuff's happening. Because I thought we were going to be severely poor by the end of winter. Seems to be the opposite of the case. Goat cheese sells for an ass ton of money. Yeah, it does. Pretty we only have one goat. Kind of want to get goat. another one. Does that goat float? One goat. Mine goat. Mine goat. I've never had goat. I really, here's the thing. I really, really wanted to have goat, but I had to... I was talking to a butcher. That I know, and keep my like proper gourmet, like artisanal style butcher. So, like, if anybody really go, it's him. He says that there is a small demand from Pakistanis and various other ethnic groups that are known for eating goat. But the problem is, it a uh, single goat to import into the region takes somewhere in the vicinity of about fifteen grand, and there isn't enough. Um, stuff there isn't enough demand for the goat for them to import it well and, at that uh, price that goat's so... going to be real fucking expensive i think it was 50, it might have been like 10 grand or something like it was a reasonable it was like several thousand dollars and there isn't enough interest in the region to be able to get it mm. but i reckon that if i went up to sydney or some other place i might be able to get my hands on some and try it out i really want to try out rabbit and there's a lot of rabbit around we've got a guy on the property who is thinking of trapping some yes we've got a guy that's going to prepare rabbit for us so what the no, baseline a, of this conversation is guys tash really fucking hates animals to the point he wants to eat all of them i genuinely <laughs> really trying a bunch of different animals like i want to i want to like taste a bunch of like i'm a meat fanatic guys well, one day when you want to live like, like royalty on like a couple week long vacation, come visit me. We'll book you into a very like very fucking white bread hotel where there's only strawberry jam, and I'll leave you there during the night <laughs> to do to, go, are you? to do whatever it is you choose to do in the evenings, and I'll visit you all day and show you all the cool shit. And coming with a couple, should, uh, should, maybe like two or three thousand Australian dollars, you will fucking live like a king for three weeks. So, maybe oh, if you can visit me, do. you can eat different animals from different area codes. Think about that. You can start the anti-World Wildlife kind Fund. Of, I kind of want to see what ostrich tastes like. It's, 
Chicken with a consistency of steak. That sounds fucking delicious. I really want to see what cassowary tastes like, because cassowary, and keep in mind, I am always going to describe a cassowary as this. Cassowaries are a six-foot-tall raptor turkey. Because I'm not even kidding. Look up cassowaries. Tell me the description six-foot-tall blue raptor turkey does not sound accurate. Don't bother, I'll just shove an image in. It's good. Seriously, it's though. Seriously, good. though. Those fuckers are disemboweled you, but they're apparently very good eating. Yes, so just make sure you've got a real fucking big gun. <laughs> but then again, I'm Australian. Everything in Australia pretty much is good eating. Hmm. Even cute little koala bears will rip your face off. Actually, I recently learned koala bears don't actually... I believe it was koala bears, at least, that don't have the, uh... They don't have a. They have a, what's called a smooth brain. They don't have mottling like most other things do. So they're not entirely sentient. They don't have uh, logic and reasoning skills to the point where they will literally just sit outside in the rain, even though they could probably die of hypothermia because they they don't have the part of their brain going. Well, this sucks. Maybe move somewhere else. Well, on that bombshell. On that bombshell, um, guys know what to do. It's been Kin, that has been Tash, also, this has been Stardew Valley. Um, Don't let a koala bear attack you, kids. Still going. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you next time, bye bye